The most famous person in my phone book. What a mortifying question. <laughs> but it is probably, it's a toss up, um, Nicolas Cage or Emma Stone. About the same, right? I think so. The most expensive thing I have bought myself yet to be used is a bus. I bought a bus. I'm one of those. Hashtag bus life. The last photo in my phone is in fact a screenshot of um, a, a puggle, a vintage puggle which is an Australian toy that I have ordered my son for Christmas from Santa. Shh, don't let any children watch this. That's, that's it. The reason I wanted to do a Discovery of Witches was because Diana Bishop is so layered and strong and an amazing female character and she's a badass. She's magical and powerful and um, I love the fantasy genre. So a very random thing about me is that I'm really obsessed with watching true crime documentaries. What sort of person is going to love this show? A human person, I would say. Someone who has like, human qualities, um, meaning everyone. Unless you're a vampire or witch. And even then, I think you'll like this show because you'll relate to it. I loved being back with the cast because they're all such a giggle. I always have so much fun with them. Um, and then we were shooting in um, the most insane uh, Elizabethan set pieces and dressed up in these crazy costumes and um, just having adventures and, and having fun. What you can expect to see from Diana Bishop in season two is just a woman who is elevated in every sense of the word. Um, she is in such a dangerous situation, but her magic is being developed and her love for Matthew is stronger. Her um, depth of being is just, it's um, immense. And she's also in her dream surroundings being in uh, 1590. So there is a lot that Diana navigates this season. Um, <clears throat> my favourite scene to shoot in season two is um, when Diana goes to the coven and she practices her weaver's magic and she does all of her special knots with the threads. And I loved shooting it because um, it was quite challenging as an actress to have to see the little threads appear. And I got to work with Sheila Hancock, who is a proper legend. I think everything about season two is better than season one. Um, I love the new characters. I love the plot. Um, the world being immersed in Elizabethan London, the, the costumes, the set pieces, the attention to detail, um, the search for the book of life, the peril and the danger, just everything is heightened this season. I feel very attached to Diana Bishop. Um, I think hearing sort of towards the end of season one that we were going to be coming back for a second and third season. Uh, it was so liberating because it meant I got to spend all this amazing time getting to know her and developing her further. Uh, I've loved breathing life into who she is and I'm so proud of her and I know that when I have to eventually say goodbye it'll be, it'll be really bittersweet.
I have two of the best fans in all the land. They know who they are. Um, Lillian Agro and Isabel, who is on the internet as not a star, just a mum. They are so supportive of me and the show and they send me presents and they love my kids and um, I just adore them. They're authentic and um, I've met them both. And I just, um, I love their, their passion for the show. And um, I just think we have the best fans ever.